Hello and I was hello and I wasn't planning on making this video today, but it did happen. And it's the Ultrasonic Raider. Um I just got this set today. Um normally I think you find it for like around about a hundred pounds normally you find it used and second hand with everything. I got it with everything for only thirty five, so I got a good deal on this. So if you see a good offer just buy it. Just get it if you see a good offer. Do not pass it down. Um, I was meant to do the Jurassic Park gate, but I'm doing this instead. So, if it, so to the person who wanted to see that, that will be in the next coming days. So that will be tomorrow or the day after. So sorry for that. I just got this today and I really just want to do a review of it. So that I can actually do an Injago shelf and put it to piece. So let's start us off with the minifigures. So here's the first figure and it's quite full. I'm just moving some pieces out of the way. Um, this figure here is exclusive to this set and you could only get it in this set. Really nice. Now we do get now we do have a legacy version of it. I'll zoom in for you right there. It looks really good to detail out the body there, and then you can move it over to the front and remove the head and don't remove the rest of the character. Another print, and I would say that look really nice. You have his little diamond there. You have his print. It is such a good figure. Let me zoom back out. And his head is also really good. You also have that diamond there. Whoops. I'm still getting better at the zooming feature. Oh, we have his eye. You have teeth. It's such a good... Now, remember, these was like new modes for the um, 2012. This was brand new for Pi 4. It's only seen on Pi 4, so it is still, I think. I don't think it appeared on any other character, so it is still a Pi 4 exclusive. Now, they did do more Pi 4s over the year. We got a Legacy one this year. Um, you also get his little Fang Blade here, which was the collectible for this half of 2012. I think the first half was the Tribe Staff, so. Yeah, so you get one of these. You don't get a staff with him, which I'm kind of a bit annoyed about, but you, you get a fan blade, which... And it's Pi 4. What is there not to like? And then the second, um, and the last of the Serpentine you get is Bitter. Is this Bitter? I, I think it's pronounced Bitter. I don't know the names too well. Uh, I don't, I'd, I'd missed out on the, the 2011 and 12 sets. I started collecting around about 2014. But my first set was a 2013 set, the Temple of Light, so that came out in 2013, but got it in 2014. So yeah, I missed out on a lot of the older stuff, so if I don't know the knowledge, I am sorry. Anyway, this is my first time getting a Spitter minifigure. Yeah, I am really sorry about that, that I don't have one until now. But it's such a good figure, I love the head mode, I think that used another character's. I have like um, the print where I have like the toxin toxics in his um, bags, which he spits out at people and blind them, like what he does to Kai in season one. He also comes with his little weapon, a mace, which I would say is actually a really nice piece. So yeah, a good character. And now onto the next. I'm moving on to the ninja. You get, I think it's ZX. I think they're the ZX suits or DX. ZX or DX. I don't know which one it is. And you get the um, season one Kai. I'll put I'll put the correct pronunciation of the suits in the corner. I am still not the best at that. Um, these suits always got me confused. ZX, DX. They're just, they're just random. I don't know why why they name that, but they are. I like other ones like the Rebooty suit. They call the ten. Uh, is it the rebooted suits or techno suits? Some of that. I really... The early on Ninja... The suits and names are the thing that get me confused. But I love Ninjago. I don't seem like a Ninjago nerd anymore. I am now sad. Anyway! Um, yeah, this is my first time getting this guy as well. It's only color the only one I have. Uh, really good minifigure. It have... That piece is actually iconic now. This is the iconic... This is just iconic. The armor, that was the first time we got the armor piece, the leg print. It's all simple, but it works. And also his face print looks like this. Look pretty good. Let me zoom in on his face for you. 
There it is. Really nice. I do like it. And then on the back you have some back printing. Let me just remove this. There you go. So a pretty simple and nice Kai. Now onto the next. And here is Jay. And Jay is also a really nice character to get. I'm removing its weapons. I will say, and this is a series why we'll do on my TikTok, which is the Ninjago minifigure flaws. Um, I'm not going to see it here, but this figure does have a major flaw with it. Definitely not pointing to the flaw. Definitely not pointing to the flaw. But yeah, this character had one flaw, which really angers me, and I'm sad that they didn't do. Um, Pine Foot also have a flaw. Those will appear in that series. Um, but it's the arm, by the way. I might actually do a video on YouTube as well for it, but yeah, really nice. It these always have like this sim these versions of these simple hoods and stuff, and just simple detail, and it works. By the way, um, his face print is a bit gone, and the I'll just find one in my collection because they accidentally put Lloyd's face instead of um, Jay, but easy mistake. But yeah, that's what Jay's face looked like. It's a pretty old figure now, so understandable. But and also the back print, also his logo. So yeah, now on to maybe Cole or maybe Zane. I don't know, but you will. And a Cole! Um, yeah, Cole is the next character, and I have Cole already. But it's nice to get a second one, and also the Scythe of Quakes, which is one of the golden weapons, which I will show later. Really nice figure, I do enjoy this. Um, there his face print, really iconic now. It's just a really good figure. It the symbol there. They're just really nice and simple. And yeah, now onto Zane. And Zane yet again, another one. Really good character. I like this Zane. First time getting it again, but oh, it's such a good character. It have good printing, good detail. I I love these suits. They're just so good, and I'm happy that I finally have them in hand. Yay! But yeah, let's move on to actually the golden weapons now. Yes, and as you just heard, you do get all the golden weapons. You get the Sword of Fire right here, which is such a nice mode. I am so happy to have it. I love this. You get the Scythe of Quakes, which is just amazing. Really nice. It's just a simple build, but works. The Nunchucks of Lightning. Really good, I love this. And then you get the Shurikens of Ice, and I only have one on me right now, so I can show you, and I placed it down somewhere because I was trying to find one, but they've done two different versions. They've done this one back in 2012 and 11, and then they did the more updated version, which is in sets nowadays. Didn't know there was two versions, but they are, so... If you want to know, you know now. You have the old one and the newer one. So yeah, actually interesting. Uh, let's move on to the actual set itself. Because of the size of the set, I had to hold the camera, so if it's shaky, I apologise. But yeah, the set itself is really good. You have this part here where you have like, let's start off with here. So you have flick fire missiles here where these just shoot off. I'm, they're hard to shoot off, but these just shoot off. They're really, you can tell it's 2012. These pieces, I have issues with them clipping and they fall apart sometimes, but it's a it's big. The wheels on the back, they're massive. Oh yeah, you also have a little jail cell. So for your little, um, whatchamacallit, I forgot his name now, Spit, Spit Bricks. If, if, if he makes a bad video and you don't like his video because he says something too controversial or something, you can lock him up in jail. There he is. <laughs> now, nah, but he's a good YouTuber, so he can come out of jail. He, he's he's good. He, he's good. So happy I got. I, I'm so happy I got a figure now because I can do that joke. Anyway, and um, then you also have these, which if you've seen the season, you will know what these are. And this is what they use, where you can put Zane in here, like so, and then you can get your Great Devourer, which I don't have, and you can have it. Shoot the flute at the Great Devourer, like in the series. I love that. It's amazing. You also have these flames on here. These are really nice pieces. Um, 
the treads do not have rubber on them, so they can't move on hard surfaces too well, like right there. Trying to roll it, it doesn't want to move because they don't have rubber on them. That's a flaw with the 2012 sets. Oh yeah, you can also fit two minifigures in. You can fit Zane in here, and then let's say Kai, you can fit in here. Like so, and you don't fit all four ninjas in, which is sad. So you will have that, so Jay and Cole have to walk it. Or they can use their elemental jets. You also have spots for the golden weapons, you have a spot here for the shurikens, nunchucks, and then you can fit the scythe and the sword in those pieces right here, that little tan piece. They can slot in there, but the issue with that though, and I, I don't recommend doing that if it's old, these can get stuck. I literally had to tear the set apart to get this out because that piece just was stuck in there. Might be slightly damaged now because of it. So do not recommend doing that. Word of warning. The wheels on the back are massive. Like those are one big eye, one big wheel. Here's bitter for reference. That's a big wheel. I don't know why this is there. I got some random pieces lying around. So sorry about that. It's such a big set. I do recommend if you see this Jeep, do not pass up. I recommend getting it. I, this would be a centerpiece to a collection. If I don't have the Destiny bounty, so that why it's a centerpiece, but yeah. Anyway, um, also like in the show, you can actually transform it. This is a feature which isn't seen till season two, but you, it is here. So if you get the set or saw the set before season two, you got the whole thing spoiled, but yeah. And that is, you press on the engine back here, and secret weapons. Okay, not weapons, it's actually wings. Because what you can do, you can take this part, lift it up, and fly it around. Woo! It's such a good build. So, that leaves you with this, and that looks bad. <laughs> not gonna lie, that looks really horrible. That's like a big chunk of it just taken. It doesn't look good, but... And not supposed to, so let me show you this part here. And here's the jet part, and the jet part is amazing. Um, you have... You don't have lights attached to it. Those I took off of the Jurassic Park gate so that I can do the review of that when I um, get a chance to. Everything is falling! Yay! I love it when things doesn't work. If you can't tell, I'm having so much fun with this, I love this. Um, but yeah, this part here... Is like these you have these here which meant to be the things what slot into play and I will show you that when I'm putting it back on. The flames keep on falling off because I keep on whacking them by accident. I am stupid enough to do that. Um the shell cell with there, you can also still use the mechanism, it's just um technique pieces and then a rubber band and once you press on here and it hard to do with it like this, I'm gonna just put it like this. You can press down on that and the wings meant to not fall off but push out. Give me a second. So as I was saying, the wings actually push out. I love that. It also has some nice engines which spin because spinning engines are the best. You can also use these as weapons still if you want. But it looks kind of stupid like that. It looks weird. So I normally have them back and have them as like backup engines. You could even like slot them down here. And they still work as backup engines, but... And also something what I like is like this here, that's clear part there, those there. Fits perfectly, and you don't see them on the actual full thing, but they appear once you take it in half. So, really nice! It makes it look more complete there, than it just being a blank wall, so... Hey, really good. Inside of here, Zane, get out of here. Don't want to hurt it. Um, you have a CD player thing there. Except, and you also have a little panel. Um, how you attach it back though is interesting. Oh yeah, also you have some symbols. So you have Kai's and Jay's. And on the other half you have Zane's and Cole's. And it had the point when I'm looking at the camera, not the actual set itself. Inside here is a lot simple. You have nothing in there really. So this is the more simpler one, but... Let's just fit Kai back in. Fit Kai back in there. Could not talk for a second, but this look—it looks good. It's a really good set. Do you recommend it? As like I said, 
Now, however you put it back on, you either can have it like this, and you can swoosh it in there like this, and fit it in there. And what it does, if I lift this up, those pieces there slip onto there. Now, let me show you a bit clearer. Like, those there, goes in here, fits on there. Really nice. And then you have, down here, if I zoom in, this here, and then once you pull back on this, that attaches onto that, locking it in place. So it's all it's so weird the way it works, but works perfectly. And you can also still have the wings out if you want, but it just doesn't make it sturdy. So it's whatever you want. You can No, don't break. I don't want you to break. No, not yet. I don't want you to break ever actually. You're a really good set. I spent thirty five pounds on you. It's a good find. Yeah, so, overall, it is an amazing set. You get six minifigures. If you don't have any 2012 Ninja, like I, it's a good way to get it. If you want a minifigure of Spit Bricks, you can get it in this set. You also get Pi 4, which is a must-have, and the original, which is exclusive. And you also want all four of the Golden Weapons. This set is for you. Oh, and a super cool set. Now the Ultra Stealth Raider is good, but ain't no Ultra Sonic Raider. Lego, please do a remake of this. If you do a remake of this, I might actually have to buy it. Like, it's such a good set. If they do do a remake of it, I might have to buy it so that I can have both of them because I do love it. Oh yeah, also right here you can see the seamlessness of the both halves combining. That they the little things there. You can't even see them like that. There they are. Those are the little things what appear at the front on ship mode. But yeah, there you go. Ultrasonic Reader Review. Hopefully you like this. If you do like this, please leave a like. And yeah, I might also do a video on my Ninjago shelf if you want, once I get that done. I think I'm going to do that. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.